Hello guys, in this section we will see how to make a hair cascade classifier for detecting face marks. But you can use this method for making classifiers for different other objects too. And also guys I have given the link to the source files in the description, please get it from there. Okay, first of all we need to acquire some positive images. Uh, here I have some positive images. Uh, I got it from Google and I have cropped it and changed the format to .bmp format uh, using a software. You can see here, yeah, Pixelion image converter. That is I think, I think it's of NCH software suite. Okay, so uh, we had it here some positive images of .bmp format and I am just copying this, uh, copying the whole images. Yeah, and here you can see Anas hard train folder. Uh, I had given it in the description, you can fetch it from there. Okay, open that and go to positive and inside that you can see the raw data folder. Just open it and paste it there. Okay, these are our positive images. That means the image that we want to get detected. Here we want to detect mass. Okay, so a positive image must contain mass uh, face with marks okay so and just going back and also we need negative images which means uh, faces with no mask okay here i have some images you can see images without mask we need it in grayscale uh, mode you can see here and i have acquired some grayscale images from google and i have cropped it okay so each one have same size you can see here Yeah, every image are of same size. Okay, now it's just and I'm just closing it and I'm just copying all the negative images. I copy it and paste it here uh, inside Anas uh, hard train and negative. Okay, pasting it here. After pasting the image, you want to run this file, create uh, list.bat file once. Okay, it will create a negative info file here. Okay, now it's MD, you can see. Yeah, it's MD. I am going to run this file. And I suggest you to turn off uh, or disable uh, your antivirus for sometimes. Just disabling it for 10 minutes. See, I just did it because our antivirus program have a tendency to delete these dot batch files. Uh, dot batch, that means batch files. Okay, so and I'm just running this. Yeah, now I am just opening this for uh, this file. You can see here a negative info is uh, generated. Now go back to positive folder. Yeah, positive. Okay, now we want to crop our images. Just uh, click on this object maker.exe executable file. Okay, now you can see here just crop the part you want to get recognized. Okay, I need this part. So just drag, uh, drag your mouse by clicking the left button and just release it. Now you can see here you can press the space bar to and uh, select that image okay i have selected it you can see here it is registered here and uh, if there is only one image uh, only one face or one object that to be detected in that image then you can just click enter and go to next image okay now you can see here another image i didn't want this image then i can just uh, uh, skip this image by clicking on enter and go to next image or i can just select the face or select anything you want to get recognized so yeah i need this so uh, so after selecting this click on space bar now which is selected here you can see and click on enter to move to next image now i got another image here i'm just selecting this image and clicking on space bar for uh, selecting that image or inserting that image you can see here and uh, click enter to go to next image okay if you have made a mistake you can just uh, select it again and again until you press the space bar okay this i don't need this image so i can just click uh, click on enter without uh, clicking on the space bar and move to next image okay now again i am just selecting this and go to go into next image like that i am doing okay selecting and going to next image okay 
okay like this you want to do to every images okay guys now we have finished our selection we have selected the specific areas of all the images okay guys now just go back and if we, we want to run this file this, that is sample creation file that will create some vector vector files on this vector folder now it is md okay i'm just going to run this yeah now it will create i think it's created here vector file now open the cascades folder you can see some folders here it's md just delete all the all the folders yeah here yeah, deleted it and just go back okay now open the hat training dot batch file batch file with any text editor yeah and so uh, using notepad notepad plus plus you can use any text editor yeah and here you want to give the count or the number of negative and number of positive images you had given uh, number of negative images uh, yeah, yeah you can select it you can see here uh, 104 we can exclude these two files so 102 files okay 102 where is uh, 102 images negative images and also positive images positive images uh, instead of raw data yeah how many uh, 44 items so it's going back yeah, where is our file 44 images number of positive is 44 and just save it and close the file just go back okay and run the same file hard train dot back okay that's batch file it will take some time guys okay no issues okay so training our images training uh, using our images given images okay Okay guys now we have successfully trained our system and for converting it to xml file just uh, run this file convert.bat okay okay guys now we have got our hard cascade file you can see here my xml okay this is for detecting faces with masks okay uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, section guys and you can see here uh, by adding more positive and negative images you can increase the uh, reliability and also the efficiency of this system. Okay guys and next session we will use this uh, hard cascade file that is myhair.xml file for detecting some uh, faces with marks. Okay I hope you enjoyed this section guys if so please like this video and consider subscribe my channel and if you have any doubts regarding this section uh, feel free to contact me. Thank you.